According to intelligence reports updated through August 2025, of the 31 Abrams supplied by the United States to Ukraine, a staggering 27 were destroyed, damaged, or captured by the Russians. But despite being considered one of the most advanced and lethal tanks in the world, why did it suffer so many casualties in this conflict? Let's start with the cradle of this machine. The M1 Abrams wasn't born out of nowhere. It's a true child of the Cold War, an era when the West feared the threat of hordes of Soviet tanks invading Central Europe. In the late 1960s, the United States and West Germany attempted to develop a joint armored vehicle, the MBT-70, to replace the aging M60 Pawn. But the project collapsed in 1971 due to exorbitant costs, technical problems, and political disagreements. The Americans then took the lessons learned and in 1972 launched the XM-1 program to create a new manned battle tank that prioritized three pillars, lethal firepower, superior mobility, and, above all, crew survivability. The Abrams name was a tribute to General Creighton Abrams, a hero of World War II and the Vietnam War, who emphasized the importance of fast, protected armor. The M1's original mission was clear, to confront Soviet tanks like the T-72 and T-80 in conventional warfare scenarios in Europe, where NATO expected to be numerically outnumbered by the endless columns of Soviet armor.